Welcome back, awesome action toy fans and subscribers. It is Acid Rain World time again. We are looking at buying the Snow Chaser Laurel LA6V. I really dig this artwork on the uh, front. I think it looks absolutely amazing. And I love the fact that it looks like it has a gun arm. I think mech should have gun arms and not hands. Why does it want hands for? To hold a gun? No, just give it a gun arm. Um, that's just my personal opinion. And it appears to come with the same shield that we saw uh, with the Revenant Laurel, which I will do a comparison with slightly later. So looking on the back, the angle is up. Looks the same as the Revenant Laurel, but it has a gun arm, not two are not two hands arms and it comes with one shield also comes with the gun you can put the ammunition in and you can put the ammunition behind the shield as well and is that a figure gun it comes with a pilot gun but no pilot does look particularly cool okay i'm going to unbox this and just see the contents and then i will pause and set up so i've taken off the bag and i've cut the tape already let's get a look inside at this here Comes with instructions as well. Some glare. They were blue kneecaps. It looks like almost like, and like a clear blue visor top maybe, on the actual screen. And you see the one shield and those two parts gaps here and here where you can put the clips for the uh, big gun. Okay, let me unbox let me unbox it properly from this plastic prison, set them up, and then we'll get back into this. So back in an instant for you guys. Here it is, and wow, I had actually forgotten how good these uh, new laurels are by Toys Alliance. It does come with instructions. Instructions don't tell you everything. I'll show you something they miss. Um, not so much they miss as more of an Easter egg, but you do get quite often with Acid Rain. In fact, the original Oritoy laurels had a hidden clipboard inside, which a lot of people didn't know uh, until they watched my video. And I didn't know until I was actually told by um, the creator of Acid Rain World, Kit Lau himself, many years ago on one of the occasions I met him in Hong Kong. I've met him a few times now. Looks absolutely fantastic. Lots of features. This is everything it comes with except the... Uh, Additional weapon for the figures here. I've also got out my Nelson figure, and this is part of his group. I'm just disappointed that his colours should be the same as that Laurel's colours in my mind, not sort of dark. He just doesn't quite look they look like they match in my opinion. But that's just me. Whereas the gun, you can see the contrast with Nelson's colours there. Looks pretty cool. We'll try and fit Nelson in. In fact, I know he fits, but we'll try and fit him in a little later in the video. So let's get a close look first of all, and we'll look at some of the features as well while I'm doing this. So, firstly, let's get a look. See, he's got the gun. Now the gun, he's not just holding in his hand, it has a small peg on the back that clips into his hand, which means he holds it really nicely, which is fantastic. If you look on his shield, it has two little arms here with pegs on, which, meh, do clip on, he says now I can't get him out, onto his arm here, I just want to come first I think maybe, there we go, there's one, and there's two, very very secure, and you can see as I said earlier, you can clip the spare magazines from the gun into the shield, which is fantastic, the other thing you can do is you can fold these down, you have a foot you can pull out, and fold out, and you can get a nice uh, fortification sort of barrier and if you've got two shields like in the Revenant Laurel you can attach the shields together they do attach together and you get a beggar a beggar you get a bigger fortification you see that's easily big enough for your figures to hide behind be very quite safe behind is very very big and thick I'm guessing blast proof or blast resistant shield there. very very cool indeed very nice and it's got the little double blades for striking as well, not just for protecting. Now, the one thing I will say that's a little bit disappointing about the Laurel, or not disappointing, 
would be nice if it had a forearm turn because the shield attaches here. If it had a forearm turn there, so the arm could turn that way, that make it even better. But we're looking at articulation at the moment. Laurel looks absolutely fantastic. Not so sure about that big gap in the center there, you can see, but other than that, it's looking really, really quite cool. Again, drilled barrel on the gun here. Oops, that flap is up. Uh, this is the little hidden Easter egg. You can also take the magazine out, but I haven't painted the, the rounds on this uh, gun arm. And it's not painted underneath, but the fact that you can do it is a nice feature. Now, what is new on the back? I believe it's new. Just check my other one. Yeah, it's new. On the back, we've got this little uh, pulley hook. It's on an elastic string, but you can unwind it. There's a uh, wind and wind up sort of cargo grips there. That is such a fantastic feature. Really, really good. I'm, I love, this is the things I love about Acid Rain World, you know. They put so much thought, or Kit Lau maybe, they put so much, they put so much thought into what they do. All these little hidden details. It just makes it a joy to play around with. We'll come around again the other side. See, it's got very good wearing on this one, I have to say. I do like this very dirty look. And it wasn't clear blue plastic translucent as I thought. That was just a uh, optical illusion from the uh, reflective plastic it was in. And it's got the uh, 55 Viking shield there too. Another feature. Uh, so you saw when I turned it around that this was opened up originally. This part here, if you've not seen this before, when you open the bottom part of the... Uh, cockpit that pushes out if i push it in it goes back in if i put it down it comes out in, out and another feature which is also present on the uh revenant laurel is you pull the seat down if you look inside the seat can you see there there's a clip which means you can store you can stow your your handgun for your pilot your his uh, pistol in there to keep it safe close it up it's behind his head it's now safe you ain't gonna lose it but you might forget about it uh other features inside the cockpit which was the original laurel as well is standing up a bit better is you have these control handles which slide in and out which make it really easy to put the figure in then you can put the uh handles into the right place and articulate the figure to actually hold them fantastic i forgot really did forget how good they are i'm so tempted to buy another one or more of the bloody nelson figures for troopers now but space and money space and money need to keep thinking about that okay let's look at articulation articulation is fantastic on this uh so we saw the opening port at the back we saw that the uh grappling hook does move there is nothing on the head we saw the copy open the shoulders though have a roll it's a in and out roll to the sides and it's to the sides they get very good articulation much better than you'll find on your a lot of your other mechs so it gets well over flat well over 90 degrees on each one that roll makes such a difference for articulate it might be small but it does and is it upwards and downwards not really there's a small ratchet on that biceps double, double bicep bend chunky arms but look at that that is probably tighter than I can do. You can even do it from there. You can move upwards and you can get a sort of a shorter looking arm from there. The possibilities are great. Hands fully rotate and you've got, rota you've got a ball joint at the base and you have one or two joints on the digits depending on which digit. But they are quite stiff. There we go. Like that. So two in the thumb and two each in the finger plus the base joint. Waist, let's have a look side to side, forwards, backwards, and turn really good. Hips, really quite far. They also have a pull down part, so you can sit them down. Always got a support for certain poses or for sitting down and firing his big guns, as it were. That's another cool feature. We saw in the original lore as well. There is a good kneecap bend considering it's 90 degrees, which is cool. Uh, hips forwards is good and backwards is good. Fantastic. Stubby little legs, which some people complain about, but I quite like it. It's low to the ground, make it a bit slower perhaps. There's also a uh, lower center of gravity, harder to topple over, etc. 
Then the feet, you've got, um, oh, sorry, there's a five turn I forgot to mention. The feet, there is no turn, but you the five turn. There's a phenomenal side to side. Tippy toe is really good. Dorsiflexation is really good. As you can see, there is also toe articulation, but the toe articulation feels too loose to actually support the weight of the uh, of the lot of the mech. That is a fantastic looking mech. So let me uh, just get a get my uh, Nelson figure. Fit him inside. I'll try and do it quickly on camera. It shouldn't be too painful. Normally, I'll put the handle to the outwards position. Now, bear in mind, he's got these big damn feet, whatever, armoured things on. This might actually be really quite difficult to fit him in. So I'll get, try to go once quickly for you guys. And if I can't, mm, handle's in it. Let's make the handle's in. If I, yeah, I don't have handle's in, handle's out. If I can't do it in the one quick go because he's so heavily armoured, I will do off camera with him or maybe another figure and then I will come back and I will show all oh, those shoulders I'm gonna struggle come on so um I think he probably could fit but the handles might have come both forward to see that one there is just stopping his legs going in but if it's forwards his feet do fit and get stuck if it's forwards like the uh one here it's harder to get him in so it's a bit difficult and you can see you can you can take the shoes off if you want to make it slightly easier or have a skinny looking figure like a bit strange all right let me pause this see if i can fit him in if not i'll do another figure i'll be back in an instant for you guys well i couldn't fit nelson in without resorting to removing the bulk of his armor so i thought i'd fit another figure this is a Doomsday Awakening figure from Joy Toy. He fits in quite well, and I just put him in very, very quickly, so he looks a bit awkward. But he does look quite good as a uh, Laurel Pilot, that sort of a uh, headset going around his face there. So you can fit figures in quite easily, and having those uh, handles that can move does make it so much easier. Okay, let's get a quick comparison with the Revenant Laurel. And we get size check first. I do the size first. Let me make sure his legs are completely uh, straight. Get as tall as you can. Okay, so let me go backwards. Uh, let me put him back a little bit more, perhaps. There we go. So, in CM, sorry guys who use inches, we'll have to convert my tape measure here in China. It doesn't have inches on, I'll have to look for one of inches. He is about 20 cm. So very similar size to like a Joy Toy um, ven Venerable Dreadnought. But obviously a lot skinnier. They are a lot wider. Okay, I've got here a Revenant Laurel. Which is the first one by uh, Toys Alliance. And the first difference, which is very, very obvious to me is the feet. So the Revenant Laurel's got these bigger feet and bigger articulated toes. Uh, same gun, same shield, but I put that shield on backwards, it should be the other way, the spikes going forwards. Same body, same head, shoulders look the same. Obviously there's a gun arm on this one. The back we know is different. How much different is the question? So quite a bit different. So this one is obviously wider on the Revenant. This one's thinner, but obviously I prefer the thinner one because you've got that nice toe hook there. But otherwise, and obviously the feet look different, but otherwise they do look the same. Now I should point out that there is this little hole here. That is for, for stowing the gun as well. It can just clip on like this. Doesn't have to hold it. And he can walk around all day. So really, really well thought out by Kit Lau, by the guys at Toys Alliance. Um, if you ask me what I prefer, the 40K sort of, uh, uh, you know, mechs or dreadnoughts. They've got the uh, Venerables. They've got the Redemptor. They've got the Warsuit. Um, I think the, the Redemptor is probably my favourite over these. However, that's just on aesthetic. These have had more thought put in and their articulation 
the machines on these is off the scale. So I th think that in terms of force and articulation, these are better. Another difference I should notice is we have the opening hatch on here, which I didn't notice on this one. This one doesn't have here. Fantastic uh, lower release. I am tempted to get another really. But then what I'm going to do with two of them, I have no idea. <laughs> Just me being a big being a big boy with adult spending power. Great looking mech. Great articulate. His arms can go up like that. He's got the shoulder turn as well. He can bring his arm across and shoot that way. You know, that's what, that's what I missed, missed off a little bit is how far back he can get his arms. So with a turn, look, he can shoot right across. Fantastic looking mech. So, so good. I like this a lot. It's not everyone's cup of tea because of the short legs, but I think it makes combat sense. Lower center of gravity, slightly smaller target, big feet. I think it's awesome. Okay, this is Awesome Action Toys saying please consider joining our Patreon. Link in the top right of the screen now. You get to see content like this early, exclusive stuff. You get to see some things early from certain manufacturers who I can't mention in YouTube, but you can see in the Patreon. You might see things... 12 hours early, 24 hours early, a week early, or even longer sometimes, depending on what it is. Great looking stuff. Please subscribe to this YouTube channel and click the notification icon, smash that bell icon, and I'll see you in the next video. Stay happy, keep collecting. Bye-bye.